Stem cells are changing the way doctors treat heart disease, Parkinson's, and cancer. Now, one local cosmetic surgeon says stem cells are also the secret to looking younger. Our health specialist, Denise Dador, tells us more about the science of stem cell rejuvenation. This is in enhanced. Doctors have been using fat for decades to help fill in wrinkles and hollowness under the eyes. But cosmetic surgeon Nathan Newman says he's doing more than just a fat transfer. He's also using adult stem cells. The stem cells is what brings in the new blood vessels, rebuilds the structures, re maintains the uh, volume by replacing the fat cells that die off. When 33-year-old Rachel Aaron first came to Dr. Newman, this is what she looked like. She's an avid surfer who spent a lot of time in the sun. I look in my face in the mirror and I see my, my face is so tired and old. The conventional way to treat Rachel's problems are with artificial dermal fillers. But Dr. Newman says his stem cell lift offers a more natural and longer lasting remedy. There is actually no downside to using your own stem cells because it's yours, it's natural, you don't get rejection, you don't need to go under general anesthesia. It's what was there that has been lost that we're replacing and it will incorporate into the tissues and will become part of your own tissues. All fat has stem cells, but what Dr. Newman does is he separates it out, and then he adds it back in where he doubles or triples the concentration of the stem cells in the fat he injects. Most of the risk is bruising and swelling. Critics of the technique say there is no FDA-approved way to inject stem cells, so it'll be years before scientists know its safety and effectiveness. And dermatologists say traditional fat transfers can cause lumps over time. The stem cell lift runs about $5,500 per eye. Just two weeks after her procedure, Rachel is thrilled. I look in the mirror and I love what I see. This is me, this is my smile, this is my skin. It's not fake. In Beverly Hills, Denise Dador, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right. Well, let's talk about the weather now.